Hello, welcome back to We Met Behind the Castle. Today we're at Hollywood Studios because they have some exciting announcements that actually just dropped today. Today is June 15th. Tons of stuff has been announced here in Central Florida. We're going to talk about the Disney specific stuff. We're going to walk around, check out some of the food options. I think we're going to grab some food. Ashley's here today. She actually just went off to the bathroom, but we're going to go check out some of the food options, grab something to eat. Hope it doesn't rain. It is pretty cloudy over here. And in the summer, it just starts to rain whenever it wants. Uh, but we're going to go walk around Hollywood Studios, go check out some of the, uh, if they have halfway to holidays, which is part, part of the Christmas celebration that they're having today. Um, but we're going to go check out, see if they have any food for the actual event itself, and then talk about the announcements. So come along with us as we explore Disney's Hollywood Studios and talk about the announcements that were made today. Interesting. A lot of people, uh, cast members, just kind of lined up outside. And the store's not blocked off, so I don't know. I think these are phantasmic, maybe. Yeah, they're, they're out here entertaining. It's a lot of fun, yeah. They're the new celebrities of Hollywood. Okay, so Disney officially announced Disney Jollywood Nights. So it's going to be a limited capacity, separately ticketed event for the holiday season. And it's actually going to take place here on November 11th, 18th, 20th, 27th, 29th. December 4th, 6th, 16th, 18th, and the 20th. It's going to be $159 to $179, just dependent upon the actual season itself. So anything in and around Christmas and Thanksgiving break, I assume that this is just going to be a more uh, costly experience that you're going to get. But that being said, you can ride rides like Rise of the Resistance, which will have a virtual queue. You can ride Slinky Dog Dash, Halloween, the Hollywood Tower of Terror, uh, and they've got different events that they're going to be putting on. So they actually have a Latin street fair which is going to be happening in the streets as well. And then over at Hollywood Tower of Terror, they're actually going to have unworldly guests roaming the courtyard outside of the Hollywood Tower of Terror Hotel. They've got different snacks and food items that they're going to have here at the park. So I'll actually insert some of the drinks, drink items. It looks like they're going to have an alcoholic eggnog, apple cider eggnog, or sorry, apple cider drink. And then they're all, <laughs> I can't speak. Uh, they're going to have uh, also what looks like it's going to be a cranberry alcoholic drink with mint. Look at me. I can't wait for the apple eggnog. <laughs> apple eggnog? Is that what you said? No, I said eggnog, and I said that they're going to have a, what did I say? Eggnog. Apple cider eggnog. That's what I said, yeah. I wish it was an apple cider eggnog, but yes. Um, I'm going to put in the snapshots of the actual food. So these cookies look fantastic. They look like a Christmas tree in the sugar cookies. And then they also have a funnel cake with the Korean chicken on a mini um, on that mini funnel cake. So that's going to be fantastic, I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this event. Iowa Studios is finally getting an event. You're actually going to be able to meet the Mickey and the gang, and they're going to be dressed in their holiday spirits as well. They're going to have different shows. They actually have a jazz lounge that they've announced at the Hollywood Brown Derby, so you can listen to some jazz and enjoy the night. But overall, Disney's adding more as far as holiday special events. What do you guys think? $159, $179, quite a expensive event to come here and enjoy Hollywood Studios for the holidays so definitely leave in the comments what do you guys think below are you guys excited for this event and what does it mean for Disney going forward do they continue this with this park and maybe add some other nights as the years go on so it's actually at Epcot yesterday and Hollywood Studios is way more crowded today than Epcot was yesterday like Epcot was a ghost town compared I walked on to Soren Frozen was at 50 minutes Studios today, uh, Hollywood Tower of Terror is really the, sh the like the shortest wait for all the thrill rides. It's at 55 minutes. Rock and Roller Coaster is at 110, and then you also have Rise of the Resistance, which is currently down. Smuggler's Run is 80. Slinky Dog's 110. So there's not a lot to do as far as rides unless you have Lightning Lane and want to spend some money on Lightning Lane, which would be really expensive just because it is busy. And again, summer starts next week officially, uh, but all the Florida schools are out. All the Northeastern schools are, are getting out of school. So we're going to head over to the Indiana Jones Lounge, see what they got as far as the drinks are concerned. Don't know too much about Indiana Jones, but I'm not a massive Indiana Jones fan. Like, I've seen one of the movies, but I guess I should catch up, right? Yeah. So there's Jay. There's are you so excited many people about... staring at us just now. It's right? made me uncomfortable. Are you excited about the, uh, the, the holiday yeah. party? Yep. She's thrilled. So, I don't know. I'm really excited about them finally adding another uh, Christmas party or Christmas event because I think, I don't know. They've got Grinchmas over at Studios. they got Horror Nights. We have Mickey's, and that's pretty much it as far as the parks are concerned. So, kind of excited that they're adding it to a new park. So, there is 50's Primetime Cafe. And right next to where Indiana Jones lets out 
the actual stunt show is Den of Indiana Jones. It's the Den of Destiny. So we're going to go check it out. It is a lounge that just recently opened. I think it was about a week ago as the new movie is about the premiere. So the Den of Destiny. Indiana Jones has got rare antiques, and they also have drinks as well. Open 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Some of the movie props. Costume designed by Joanna Johnston, Indiana Jones. Yeah. And she's like. Instead of J-Dog. Ancient bronze chest. Hmm. Ooh, look, there's Indy's hat and his whip. We got the hat and the whip over here. Did you know that a whip makes that sound because it's breaking the sound barrier? I learned that today. Very fascinating. It was on my like the, no, the little calendar that your mom got me for my desk. That's fun facts. And that was the fun fact for the day. So this is, well, look how much it looks like Harrison. Helena Shaw's playing cards. And her outfit. Wow. I wish I could speak to Indiana Jones. I just don't know the movies well enough to know. know Looks like a compass, honestly. I'm going to go with a compass. <laughs> I'm not a huge, I'm just not like a big Indiana Jones fan just because I, just because I haven't really seen the movies, honestly. I feel like it's a code breaker. Yeah, code breaker, compass. <laughs> it's more of the movie props. Oh, so you can actually purchase some of this stuff. One time I worked here. Oh, in this store. I was here all day. That's right. <laughs> 12 hours. What else? Are you blocking it yet? Funko. I'm sure I'm blocking it here so there wasn't a glare. <laughs> The coach is real. Oh, that's the wrong movie. It's available at Keystone Colliers. So they do have the Adventurous Margarita, which is a fruit papaya green tea, cucumber, lime juice, and agave nectar. They have a weathered fedora, which is old Forester, Kentucky straight bourbon, sweet vermouth, vanilla, hella cocktail, ginger bitters. They also have law sorry, the Lost Coast Tangerine Wheat Ale, and then a Cigar City. Jai Alai IPA, and then they have a non-alcoholic beverage, which is that La Antilique, Antilique, I think that's how you say that, green tea, pomegranate green tea, blood orange, lemon juice, and agave nectar. Are you eaten by a stone <laughs> chupacabra? I don't know what those are. What is this? Outside of the Indiana Jones Den of Destiny, they actually have some souvenir pennies. And you get Mickey, Merida, Phineas and Ferb, and Buzz Lightyear. And actually, Phineas and Ferb will actually be at the, the new event, Jollywood, which is the Christmas event. And you can actually meet them. That's going to be a lot of fun. I think they're going to be all decked out in their Christmas stuff. Edna Mode and Frozone will actually be meeting as well. So quite a few character meet and greets. And the pictures for the characters are actually complimentary with your ticket. Yeah, so just outside of the Den of Destiny, they actually have a little seating area, I guess, tables that you can actually come back here and enjoy your beverage that you get out of the Den of Destiny. And again, I wish I knew more about Indiana Jones. I need to go home and watch the movies. That's what I need to do. This is different. I don't know if I've ever seen this. Pull the rope, j Dog. pull the rope. Pull, pull, pull. Nothing's happening. What are you doing? That's... That was lame. Why did you do that? <laughs> Why can't you pull this up? That's. Sounds like there's somebody in there. But something jumped out. That'd be it's... wild. I'm so confused. It sounds like there's somebody like down there. I'm so confused. Interesting. Anyway, I was pointing this out. I don't think I've ever noticed this. They've got like a tent area where you can kind of stand under the. Uh, you, I guess this is the queue line to get into Indiana Jones. But Indy actually stops their last shows at 4.30. So, it's done for the evening. 
So they do them at 10.45, 12 p.m., 1.15, 3.15, and 4.30. So if you're looking to see Indiana Jones' stunt spectacular, you can actually see like the fire going on back there. So must be testing out some different things. I did want to say that I think it's a really good idea that they're doing these like pop-up lounges. I think you could do a lot of those depending upon, I guess, different movies that are coming or coming out, premiering, because I think that studios, you really have a lot of space that I think they haven't used or utilized. So I think you could actually add some of the Disney movies, pop-up lounges, pop-up drink places, bars. I think it'd be a lot of fun. And I think they can kind of steal the idea of like the tribute store from Universal where they could do themed lounges that they could just be pop-up lounges so so baseline tap houses is right next to sci-fi diner and they actually have some ciders beers beer flights cocktails fine wine on tap specialty non-alcoholic drinks and they have bar snacks they do have beer on tap so they've got different mango beers Hoffenweizen, which i believe is the same people that do the grapefruit beer they also have pilsners summerfest ipas they also have cider on tap, so you get the 16 ounce and 12, 22 ounce. And then they also have cocktails on the menu, so California Sunset, Baseline Select Margarita, Chardonnay, you got some wine. I got the Wild Strawberry Lemonade. Small plates, we actually got the charcuterie and the coffee rub ribeye steak puff, which sounds fantastic. Wild Strawberry Lemonade, and Jay got the what? Cider. Ace Space Bloody Orange Hard Cider. All right, Ace Space Bloody Orange Hard Cider. Here's the charcuterie board, and then it was $12.50. California cheeses, different meats, little baby grapes. Got some pickles over here. Looks like some blue cheese, some brie, white cheddar maybe, and some fig. The bartender was laughing at her. I didn't know you were. I think, yeah. <laughs> it's a wild. There's our steak puff. So it's got onions in it. It's got a nice little creamy, uh, I don't even know what kind of sauce that is, to be honest with you. But, oh, that's cool. I think it's cheese, right? This is cheese? I think so. <laughs> Steak. It's got like in this little pastry. And then you have like an olive medley in here. That looks great. And then our little charcuterie board with the wild lemonade. Yeah. I care about that cider. House. I know. I love that so much. So that was Baseline Tap House. It's a fantastic place to grab. A quick bite to eat. So nice. It is. feels, feels really so good. good. That food was pretty good. The charcuterie board was all right. I just don't like blue cheese. I thought the cheeses were good, the meats were good. Um, the steak, like pastry pie kind of thing, the puff, it was it was decent. It wasn't the best thing I've ever had. Mine. Yeah, I like the steak in it. I wish the cheese was a little bit more cheesier. Um, a little bit more salt, I think, would have been great. But we're gonna head over here. I think we're gonna look at the pride photo op. I like this. You can go up, act like you're holding the balloons. There you go. You can fly away. Huh? No. Ally. It's like Muppet Courtyard area is behind construction walls. So I don't know if they're working on plumbing or if they're working on anything in particular. I don't think there's anything announced, obviously. But I think they're just working on Is this where Miss Piggy was? I thought she was gone. Oh, she's not gone. I would be her So yeah, I think they're just working on this area over here. Nothing in particular, but... All right, we're gonna head through Galaxy's Edge. Just kind of look at the crowd levels back here in Galaxy's Edge. It's more crowded. Park's pretty busy. So, naturally, everybody's back here in Galaxy's Edge, but Galaxy's Edge and then Toy Story Land are the two most part crowded parts of the actual park itself. There's really good photo opportunities around here, so even if you're waiting in line for Rise of Resistance, which is 110 minutes right now, just before you get in line, you can actually head over and take some pictures in front of the X-Wing if you really wanted. Some merchandise shops as well. And they actually have some really good food back here in Galaxy's Edge. I do want to go in the Droid Depot just because I think they've got some new merch that we want to take a look at. So we're going to head in. And Droid Depot's right across the way from, I guess, this mechanic shop that they work on different speeders. So let's head into the Droid Shop, j Dog. Yeah. Jay is pumped. She's a big Droid fan. Actually, she's a big droid fan. She likes uh, Dio. Beep, bop, boop. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. They're speaking some droid. This is the least crowded I've ever seen it. <laughs> this thing's usually packed during the day because it's an uh, air-conditioned metal dome. I think it'd still be fun to do some accessory panels and stuff on a customized droid. 
I really want to build a droid one day. That'd be fun. <laughs> Look at the B1 series. That's fun. I don't think I've ever seen him. It's like a Barbie arm. What? It's like a oh, Barbie arm. Like a Barbie arm. <laughs> oh, you moves. <gasps> that's fun. <laughs> hey, that's a cute shirt. A little tank top. Droid top. Droid action figures. They have pride droids. Did you know that? What? Yeah. That's cool. I think they might be in here. I don't know. Ooh, that's a nice jacket. Look, Jay, it's Bobby Frick. Put a quarter in here for Aldi. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, you can put a quarter in there for if you go Aldi shopping. Aldi. Yeah, your Aldi cart. Or penny presses. Or a penny. Or yeah, like I guess a lot or, of them are like digital. Or a penny press, I guess. Troy Builder. Whoa. These look like assassins. They're kind of freaky looking. Kind of spooky, J Dog. Look at the other one. So, this is the Droid Depot. You can actually customize your own droid. I think it's up over $100 to actually do the customization. You get like a character chip, how they interact. You get to build them from scratch, basically. They go across this little conveyor belt back here. You pick out the pieces, you put them together. These guys back here, the uh, droid mechanics, actually put them together with you, and then they customize them however you want to do. And then they come in these huge boxes that kind of look like Build a Bears. Looks like a lot of fun. A pumpkin. He does look like a pumpkin. Pumpkin spice droid. <laughs> I like this. That's how I would want to carry my droid around in a backpack, kind of like Grogu. And then if you look up, they've actually got droid pieces coming up on this little conveyor belt. Such great theming back here in Galaxy's Edge. So I think when we came to Hollywood Studios last time, we'd seen all of these. It's still one of my favorite cups. That's so cute. cute. Yeah. I like the little droid pieces on them. I really like this R2-D2 cup. I like this. Utensils? Forks, maybe? Like reusable cutlery, I believe. Oh, look, salt and pepper. I'm like, yep. Oh, look at that. Fancy. The galaxy's cutlery. Ooh. Out of the realms of outer space. I don't understand. In the world, I do understand. Into the backyard of Andy. Shrinking. Do you feel it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Shrink ray. Oh, man. We're... I don't know what that was. She was shrinking. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That was scary. Kind of looked like a like a clicker. You could be in the Horror Nights house as a clicker now, and you kind of walk around like a zombie. I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's really not busy back here towards alien swirling saucer. Those are kind of fun. It dropped like 10 degrees from the time we left baseline and made it over here. Feels very nice out right now. It's so nice. Yeah. It's so hot earlier. It's like not humid. It's very breezy. The, the wind has some coolness in the air. I didn't go with you yesterday because it was way too hot. The air was thick. Yeah, the air was thick. It is that time of year, though. Humidity abound. I just wanted to go land pool. Yep. All right, so I think we're going to head out this way and go towards Lightning McQueen Racing Academy. I'm telling this, there's a huge footprint right here. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I've never noticed this. <laughs> yeah, I've never noticed the big foot. The foot footprints, <laughs> not the big foots. The big, the big foots. <laughs> There's big foots around. I've never noticed the big oh, foot. Oh, no. <laughs> no, but uh, this is going to be, uh, I think, an awesome land as far as Christmas is concerned and that party and that event. I'm going to guess that they're going to be playing more Christmassy sounding music, maybe put some hats up on Rex, deck out this land for the holiday season. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And then I think they're going to have different Christmas treats, obviously, spread throughout the park, even without the event going on. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Hollywood Studios does with the holiday season and these specially ticketed events that we're going to get to see. Goodbye, Woody. It's been fun. Yeah, so I think at 5.30 is when it closes. 5.30, 6 o'clock. But yeah, the Incredibles are actually back and meeting back there in Municipal Place, I think is what it's called. And Jack Jack cookies, yum yum cookies are back there. Oh, so they did move them here. all back. Edna Mode's back out there. 
because they were out here previously, but I think they've moved them since back in because I can see like the cookie sign when I was walking over. So that's where they are now. Go meet the Incredibles. And then at the Walt Disney Presents Theater, you can actually meet the live action Ariel from the new movie. But I think she's done also around 5.30, 5 or 5.30. So it's one man's dream right now and a sneak peek of Little Mermaid. And then we're headed on this backside here. I'm interested to see when they're finally going to announce the change of Little Mermaid's voyage. Or sorry, the voyage of the Little Mermaid. Mixed it up. But that's definitely going to make a change. I just don't know when. I imagine this whole courtyard's gonna get a change. That's my next project my, my next prediction as far as what's gonna change back here. But Disney Junior is still pretty popular though. So again, if you look, they do use the Disney Junior building and these meet and greet areas where you can meet Vampirina. Um, looks like Nancy's back here as well. So you can meet the Disney Junior characters back here, but these gift shops over here aren't used. This building where Voyage was isn't used. Star Wars Launch Bay doesn't quite make sense anymore being back here. It did when there wasn't a Galaxy's Edge, and I always imagined they would move them eventually. Yeah, it was way before. Yeah, it's still open. Yeah, Chewbacca, BB-8, and them still meet there. Oh, yeah. It's very odd, but yeah, I love these little meet and greet areas. So you can actually come back here, Vampirina, and them. Never see anything yeah. ever back here because I Pluto meets back here. Colors. Yep. 9:30 to 5 p.m. is usually when these characters are out. These are such cute little backdrops. Yeah. That looks good. Let's get that. Little Mermaid, Bubbles of the Sea. Yeah, that looks, neat. That looks really good. So Tower of Terror, and then we're at Fairfax Fair. And we're actually going to get the Little Mermaid drink, which is being made right there in those little coolers. It oh, look at that. The green. Dog. Yeah. Ooh. Jane matches the I'm drink. So she didn't even know what she was getting today. <laughs> I forgot this existed, to be honest with you. How's it taste, Jay Dog? It tastes like lemonade. Stuff. Stuff. I thought it was going to be really, I thought it was going to be really sour, and I was ready to go. Yeah. But it wasn't. Huh. I just want to eat one of these. I know. With it. I want to know what the little bobos are. Boba balls. Oh, it popped before it got in my mouth. Pop ball. Well, maybe we'll get a challenge. I don't know what it tastes like. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, my turn. So, I'm not good at explaining things, obviously, but I thought it was going to be sour, and I thought I was going to go, but I didn't. And then I was like, it's too sweet. But then I was like, good <laughs> it is really good uh i, I think know. it's guava isn't it? yeah. like it you tastes like it. guava fruit yeah so let me check the description and then i'll give you a better description of what it tastes like all right jay here it is here's the Are description it's very sweet thing? no it's very sweet though uh it is gold peak sweet green tea lemon juice pineapple and guava topped with boba pearls and a splash of shimmer shimmer, shimmer. <laughs> There you go, Taylor Swift. Okay, so I think the taste is pineapple that I get more than anything. That and the tea mix. Like, so. I think guava too. Like it's like the guava, pineapple, guava and tea is what the is biggest. Guava? Uh, it's like a sweeter, like it's a sweeter flavor when it's artificial. But what is it? It's a fruit. I should pin a picture of it right here right so I there. can be educated. That's a guava. Congratulations. It is really sweet. I, I like it a lot. You taste the tea too. Yeah, I taste it. The tea's kind of the aftertaste as well. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's very sweet. It's really good. I, I almost choked on one of these, yeah. and that's why I thought you were recording. I was no. like, <laughs> no. I highly recommend it, though. I think it's, I don't know, I think it's one of the better drinks that I've had as far as specialty drinks is concerned. Like, it's not too sweet, but it's it's really good. I enjoy it. And plus, I love popping bobas. Oh, yeah. Rock and roller coaster's back. 45 minutes. Not too bad. Oh, the door's just open. And they're now going to let people in. Yeah, 15 minutes in between each showtime. They're actually letting people out now. So shouldn't be too long before we're in Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. And those little bobos were green apple. And Jay's trying to fish them out. We were trying to fish them out, but the ice has little holes in it, and they get stuck in the ice. It's wild, but it is a really good drink. Welcome, racers. ka -chow. This is such a cute little show. I can't wait to show you. ka -chow. ka -chow. Lightning McQueen. The Racing Academy. We got to get up front row seats. Got a little benches to sit on back here, so. All right, we're gonna check it out. Two. Okay. Good chat. 
Ka-chow. Great job, rookies. Cruz Ramirez. Cruz Ramirez have your racing debut. Crazy Eight, World Grand Prix, or Florida 500. All right, World Grand Prix. Shout out to answer on three. One, two, Oh, I forgot Cruz did that. We haven't seen that one in a long time. I love the Cars movies. Champion, you've all been waiting for. Come You thought it was going to be someone else. Well, hey there, rookie racers. You're parked in Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. My bestest buddy, Lightning McQueen, don't ask me to introduce him. So I put together a little thing I call Lightning McQueen, the untold story that ain't done yet been told. <laughs> and here it is, singing style. Oh, <laughs> I gotta push the button. Shoot. I knew that. Here's a story of a car. You know, I only figured out how to be a great racer because I had a great teacher, Doc Hudson. That's why I started this racing academy, so I could pay that forward to all of you. Uh, buddy? Yes, Mater? Doc wasn't the only one that taught you a thing or three. <laughs> That's right. He taught me how to drive backwards, how to tip tractors, how to be a great friend. Yeah, and then he went on to win a heap of piston cups. <laughs> show that mater what well, it makes you more dramatical yeah but that's not gonna happen this time thanks to the tech savvy rookie sensation and my friend cruz ramirez hello everybody after today you'll be ready to meet it read it and defeat it exactly mater boot up the simulator you got it what oh, oh gotta push a button <laughs> Uh, right. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. All right, Why you always going to start with the practice lap. Warm up your tires. Now, when you're racing, you want to keep an eye on your tire pressure, oil level, and fuel. Exactly. As you get started, get used to the speed for a moment and pick a line and stick to it. Uh-oh, congestion ahead. What should we do, Cruz? Imagine a stampede in the a window. Just like Smokey taught us. What was that? I didn't press now. Kick? What are you doing here? Well, I hacked into your silly simulator so I could race you and finally prove who's the best race car. Me? Or me? Check. You already beat me in a race. Everyone says I only won that cup because you were helping the king. They said my championship was a fluke. Which it wasn't. I'm here to settle this once and for all. Let's race, McQueen. <laughs> I am not racing you, Check. We're busy training these rookies. Oh, yeah? I'll sweeten the deal. If I win, every racer here gets a huge pile of cash. 
must be appropriate agent who will basically claim huge pile of cash. Not just lost their stolen items. One huge pile of cash we're going to cut from. Offer not available in Orlando, Florida. Uh, come on, get the rookies out of this. I knew you were afraid to race me. <laughs> Thing. Should we race this guy? Yeah, you can beat him. I'm slowing down. Check out the system to change your stats. Hey, that's cheap. Don't worry, I'm activating team mode. Activating team mode. It's about the journey you take to get there and who you've got driving alongside you. Oh man, I'm getting all rusty out back here. <laughs> Thanks for coming out today. Consider yourselves honorary members of my Lightning McQueen racing team. Now go out there and get your tires dirty. Ka chow! Ka chow. Bye, Lightning. Bye, Mater. So Fantasmic starts pretty darn soon. So all these people are heading back towards Fantasmic. And then I think there's a second one at 10 o'clock. But I know they were trying to phase out the second shows for different reasons because of the refurbishments that they're going to make. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. To see if they've actually got any of the treats out here that are halfway to the holidays. I don't think they will, but we'll see. And again, the trolley car cafe, it is a Starbucks. That's where you can get the Starbucks. And this is right down the main street here in Hollywood Studios. They don't have it, I don't think, but the carrot cake whoopie pie. That's my favorite dessert in all of Disney World. Everything bagel looks really plain. Yeah, it does. Cinnamon caramel cream cold brew right now. Yum in the sun. Also have a caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino. I cannot speak today. But no uh, halfway to the holiday streets. I thought they might. That's a bummer. Oh, that's a nice deal for them. Fifteen bucks for the uh, acrylic uh, Starbucks cups, really? That's not right. Wow. That's like the twenty-nine. Yeah, I didn't write. I was gonna say that's not. Yeah. I was like, that's not. That's it. not the right one. I was like, that feels like a lie. I so, have this. They do have a studios and fiftieth anniversary ones. Oh, well, that's just a fiftieth anniversary, not just studios. I still have a lot of the sippers. The fiftieth. So the Celebrity Five and Dimes right here, and then cover story is where all the pins and Magic Bands will be, Magic Band Plus, as you exit the park. And then you have the actual main store over here, which is the Mickey's of Hollywood. That hoodie in there? Yeah. Super cute. That is cute. It's not a Yeah. So we're going to go ahead in here and see if they got the Jiminy Cricket pin. There we go. Jiminy Cricket. Oh yeah, Bruno. I saw him yesterday. Oh. I like this little mermaid pen. That's Bruno, isn't it? Luca. Luca. We don't talk Listen, about him. That's this, right. We don't talk about Bruno. Luca pin. You said Luca. Bruno. <laughs> oh, not Bruno. Oh, dear. Did That's you buy cute. that one? Yeah, I've got that one. Are you sure? Yeah. How did you buy it? I don't remember. Not with me. I think we have the Dalmatian one. I don't know if we have this. I don't know if we have the Lion King one then. Huh. Where did Jiminy go? Did I not just look at him? What? Where's Jiminy? Jimmy's over here. Oh, I didn't see it. It's right here. Looks like a song there. Right he there. Is. Get us. Aw, cute. Oh, Ryan Bannock. And the Wally's got pens as well. Hey it's really emptied out because everybody's headed back towards Fantasmic and it sucks a lot of the crowd back out of the park. Look at it. That is cute. His head moves. <laughs> it's kind of scary. I love it. <laughs> He's so cute, though. It's I not a bobble want Zazu one but... now. Yeah, I don't know why you even buy that. I know. I love it. He's so cute. Please let your conscience be your guide. Let your conscience be your guide? <laughs> All right, so that's going to do it for our night here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We were actually, there's Ashley. We were actually here to check out Jollywood uh, announcements. Nothing as far as treats were concerned. I thought maybe with Halfway to the Holidays, they would have some of the Christmas treats. They didn't. Um, <laughs> she looks crazy back there looking at that car. Uh, but no, it was really fun. We got to check out the Indiana Jones lounge check out some of the drinks there we actually got the new drink for the little mermaid it was fantastic i think it was one of my favorite specialty drinks that i've ever had so i was really excited about that i I'd totally forgotten about it so that was exciting but i think the jollywood event has a lot of steam i think it's going to be very popular especially 
with all the offerings that they're going to have. They're going to have the character meet and greets. They're going to have the jazz lounge. They're going to have different opportunities to get pictures with some of the Christmas characters, obviously, um, but also just enjoy the Christmas season. So looking forward to seeing what that event's like. Um, I think it's pretty much it behind the studios. So thanks for watching the video. We hope to see you guys in the next video, and we hope to see you guys at the parks.